married to Mrs. Endalia Young, so all references to my wife is Endalia Young. My only child is Mary Young, and all references to my child is Mary Young. I wish to give everything I have and own to my child, Mary Young. My wife, Endalia Young, is to take care of them all until she comes of age. But my child's opinion on all matters concerning my wealth and properties must be adhered to. Mary, I know how smart and brilliant you are. Make sure you take care of your stepmother. Signed, Mr. Daniel Ayao. Are there any questions to this way? No, Barrister. We fully understand. In that case, ma, I'll take my leave. Before the end of the day, all documents, information, and account details we sent to you. Thank you so much. Ma, the water you requested for. Thank you so much, Margaret. Um, Mom, I'll be in my room. I have to rest. It's okay. I will join you later. Friend, you have not uttered a word. Are you all right? Adrian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. Uh, I'm perfect. Um, I don't know why my husband didn't. Oh, there's no point. I, he did perfect. He did well with the will, yes. I mean, what he did is the best. You see, I am totally happy and in support of the will. After all, I am not related to him directly. I'm only related to him through you. So he owes me nothing. You are my brother. And I still need you because you are the only one I can trust. Yes, I'm here. After all, the will you say I should leave the house of the company. Oh yeah, so I'll always be here for you and your stepdaughter. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Master the art of doing this thing. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Nice one. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. <coughs> yes, now I'm ready for your early morning questions. Okay. Mm. Um, Dad, I've not showed you my tense resolve. Oh, okay. Where is it? Mm hmm. Girl, hey, it's all through. This is nice. Can you imagine? This is good news. So, how did you do it? I just worked hard, that's all. See, I told you there is nothing you cannot achieve once you put your mind on it. This is good. A high five. <laughs> this is really good. Uh, but it was a bit difficult. No, of course. 
nothing good comes easy. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard. Like I always tell you, hard work is the only way to success. You cannot achieve success unless you work hard. And with determination, you will go a long way. I mean, there are no shortcuts. That's why I'm happy because the effort you put into it is what really concerns me, not the result. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. When you say there are no shortcuts, it reminds me of a girl I saw cheating in the exam hall. I saw her copying from a piece of paper. So, what did you do? I didn't tell, but after the exams, I asked her why she did what she did. She said that her parents would be mad at her if she doesn't pass. And they always compare her to her younger sister, which makes her feel bad. Oh, that still doesn't justify the fact of the nonsense she did. Yes, it didn't. I told her that. But that it's not nice for her parents to treat her that way. I mean, it's not good to compare someone with others. Thank God I don't have siblings. And that why... Why what? Why, like, why don't I have siblings? Well, let's just say that... Uh, because I love you so much. Maybe God doesn't want me to share that love with someone else. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't think that's why. Are you trying to hide something from me? Oh. Well, let's just say we tried, but it didn't work out. By the way, who cares? With a girl like you, Mary, I shouldn't be asking for more. You are a very intelligent child, very brilliant, very smart. I love you like that. You make us proud, my dear. Thanks. Of course, I'm proud to be your father, like I said. Thanks, I'm sure Dad. that you're going to make us even proud. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Drink your tea before it gets cold. Yeah, that's true. I don't like it when it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I will never disappoint you, Dad. Promise to make you proud. I don't understand you. Did you hear what that guy read? I know it was Mr. Daniel's will, but I didn't hear its contents. All right, I will tell you. That stupid man, that stupid dead man, will everything hurt to his daughter. You don't disrespect the dead. Is that what you're talking about? Respect? Eh? Ah. I, I caused that evil man. I wish him to perish. Do you know how hot I am now? Do you know? I worked for that stupid man for all these years and he didn't will not a single penny to me. Well, I believe if you talk to your sister about it, she would do something. Yeah. Then what would you do? I wish I can just dig up his corpse and struggle his life everybody with all my friends. Andre, you need to calm down. Relax, please. Relax, just calm down. Relax. Re relax. What is going on here? Um, I, I had some noise. Ma Madam, I'm sorry, I, I dropped the glass. Right. Uh, look, Andre, yes. are you alright? I'm fine. You're right. Yeah. Good. I, I need a little margaret. Yes, ma'am. I'm fine. Clean it up and do not leave any piece on the ground. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Just be careful. Right? Yes. Be careful. You, see, you see why I told you to be careful? Just go and let me clean it up. Go. I'm fine. Do it right. Go. Oh, my God. 
died. She had visited me in my dream. Really? Yes. Did she say goodbye? Yes, but my dad has not. Maybe daddy was finding it difficult to say goodbye. But we have to be strong for that. Okay? You are the only one I have now. Will you leave me? Come here. No. I will never leave you. I will always be here for you. You know something? I love you. Okay? Keep the flower. Give it to me. I will never leave you, okay? Keep your pillow and lie down or you come downstairs with me. No. This while I've suffered and toiled for nothing. I worked several hours every day and I could not get as little as a promotion or even a slight increment in pay. He wills everything to his 15 year old daughter and he expects me to keep quiet. You guys must be joking because I cannot sit back and watch what I deserve pass me by. Let's do something. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and this your gift which you are about to receive from your bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So it's is it, there is this business plan I want us to discuss. Okay. Uncle. Yeah. Why don't we eat first and discuss about it later? What do you think? <laughs> I, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. There is about an investment I want us to venture in. What investment? Cryptocurrency. It is one of the biggest investment opportunities in Nigeria and around the world. Oh, cool. Okay. 
you plan to go to my mom's place to get her? My father has so many investments and I think he could probably do it from home. So what do you think, Mama? I'm so good too. Um, and then, um, I think we will invest in this place now. But for the thing that you get. Mama got me. Fine. Still bothered about that. Can you imagine? I brought up an idea. Guess what that brat told me? She's not a brat. What did she say? She said my idea is unwise. In other words, she called it foolish. Come on, there are two different things. There's no difference. What's the difference? No, tell me. What's the difference? You really need to. No, you don't need to tell me to calm down, please. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, fine. Let me get you something so you can relax. No. Then what do you want? to give you anything or you want anything. No, no, no. Thanks, Margaret. All right, Ma. I'm a boss. I have a business meeting in the next 30 minutes. Andrew, but you don't have your breakfast. No, don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll just on my way. Okay. okay. Take care of yourself. Okay, see you.
My daughter, she hasn't stayed long like this before, has she? No, ma. It's been hours already and it's getting late. I think I'll leave to her school immediately. Call me if she comes back before me. Sure, ma. No problem. I will. Have some water. How are you feeling? Better. Thank you. But what happened? But my daughter has been kidnapped. What? What's going on? Um, yeah. It's blue. Yeah, what about her? Is she alright? <laughs> what is going on? Why is no one talking to me? What's happened to my niece? Margaret. She was kidnapped. No, serious. Maybe. Kidnap. How? What are you about to do? And to call the police, of course. No, 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 no. You shouldn't. So don't. They said we should not get the police involved. I don't want anything to happen to her, please. Just speak with her. Is she okay? At least. At least she is alive. But how can she be okay with those animals? You have to do something. What are they asking for? They haven't said anything. I'm so sorry, ma. We, we cannot just sit here and fold our arms. We need to do something. It is evident. But what do we do? What are we going to do? Maybe just for the kid. What would they would have taken me instead? They it's would okay. have given me. Me. It's okay. Oh, just 
Is it done? What do you say? 15 million in 48 hours. What? This is what? What heartlessness is that? Let me see. Who is Jack P? Who is Jack P? Because the current name is Jack P. I don't know. Who is Jack P? Mom, what are you going to do about I don't it? Know. I worry for my child. Hundred. <laughs> Do you think they will hurt her? I don't know. In that case, let us involve the police. I don't want to be the reason they will hurt or harm her. Let us leave the police. We can go to their school, you know, make some little inquiries, ask some questions. Let's know what actually happened. I was only told not to do so. Uh -uh. Who are these people that are just messing up with us like this? Let me have the number. You have the number. Did you do it? Did I do what? Did you kidnap your niece? What kind of question is that? You said it yourself, that you would do something about it. Is this it? No! How can I kidnap my own sister's stepdaughter? You're perspiring. Breathing heavily. You can't even maintain eye contact. That's one of the behavior of someone telling a lie. There are so many things you don't know about me. So what are you doing here as a common man? Why don't you use your talent, go do something good for yourself and become a better person? You are deflecting. One of the tactics of someone telling a lie. Now tell me the truth. Did you do it? 
your niece and you're telling me you have everything handled. I told you I know what I'm doing. You allow your sister go through the trauma of having the child she lost so much kidnap. And you tell me you know what you're doing. It is just for a while. <sighs> Are you stupid or something? You kept her in the same house. What if she goes in there? She doesn't go there. And what if she does? Leave me to worry about that. And the call and messages, how did you put that through? I made the call through the small phone and I had Mary's voice recorded, so I played it when I made the call. And the text message? Somewhere, I had it typed already. So I had to press some button while I was still on. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Let's come on, calm down. Just watch me do my thing. I have everything handled very soon. How did you get her into the house? The back door? Yes. You are unbelievable. Are you going to blame me? Don't you see I'm the one that is maltreated here? They want to take him for a fool. No, your stupid sense of entitlement is your problem. They feed you, they clothe you, they house you, cars at your disposal. They owe you no dime. You are just a greedy fool. How dare you? How dare you talk me in such a manner? You slapped me. What next? Kidnap me? Is that it? Please, I want you to. I am not with you in this. You want to back out? You are simply deceiving yourself. Because if I go to jail, you go to jail. We are in this together. Why are you doing this? Why? I just want you to relax and follow my lead. We will be fine. We would not be fine. We would get caught by the police, yes! And what next? We will go to prison. Is that what you want? Just see it work out. Follow my lead. It will be fine. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life today. Thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking up, O oh God. For that, Lord, I commit my daughter, Mary, into your hands, Almighty God, for safety. Hello. Please, can I speak to my daughter? Please, can I at least talk to my daughter?
They just called me again. They did what? They called me again. They just called me again. That I should send the money. But, but something was, wasn't just right. They wouldn't let me talk to my daughter. So as it is now, I don't even know if she's well, if she's sick, if she's alive, or if she's dead. Maybe it's just money this people need. Maybe it's just do as they requested. Yes, as for Mary, I am sure she will be fine. Andre, I think we should get the police involved. Yes. You want to call the police? It is the best thing to do now. Let's get the police involved. I don't think it's the best thing to do. Just like you said earlier, these people might do something nasty if they find out you involved the police. Andre, I don't think they will find out. They wouldn't find out. Let's they always have their way. I mean, these people always have their way of finding out things. How do you know? Hmm? Uh, I, I, on the telly. Yes, you know, I've watched this in several, several in the movies. You see, these people, they have the way of finding out what happened. And it doesn't end up well. Let's not jeopardize this girl's life. But, 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 but you wanted to, to call the police earlier. Yes. That was before you called me to order. I would have made a terrible mistake. Andre, I know you wouldn't want anything to happen to Mary. Not at all. But we both cannot handle this situation alone. I think the best thing for us to do is to get the police involved. Please. No, that would be a terrible mistake. I would be risking this little girl's life. Oh God. Sister, I can't advise. going to do about this? Yeah. What do you mean you don't know? You said you have everything under control. Will you shut up and allow me, allow me to think? You have to get her out of there. You have to let her go. No. What do you mean no? We must get the money. So all we need to do now is to be brave. You need to release her or I will. Now if you try it, if you dare, I'll kill you. Including everybody before killing myself. <laughs> the police will come and they will ask questions. And we have brain. Just that. I told them it should be a secret. The detective only asked to come to find out more about the situation. My God. Keep her safe for me. I can't bear to, can't bear to lose her. No. All of this wouldn't be happening if my husband was still alive.
Good evening. Good evening. I am Detective Bude. I am the head of the team investigating the case about the kidnapping. You are welcome. Okay. Please sit down. Thank you. You're welcome, Detective. Thank you. Have you been able to find out her whereabouts? Not yet. But I can assure you that we'll bring her home safely. And as for the culprits, we'll do them for justice. Okay. Thank you so much. I just have 24 hours, so we have to do something immediately. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. We need to see if we can get any lead on the situation. First of all, I would like to take a look at the girl's room. Okay. Can I put them? No, take him to... Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Madam, do you need anything? No. You can join them and see what's going on there. Anything you're looking for? No. Sorry, but I would like to do some questioning. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. But we have to go to the sitting room and it has to be private. See, in this house, we don't do anything secret. We all do things together. It's very dry. I insist that it has to be private. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> She is my stepdaughter. Madam, why did you delay me about this case? I wanted to, but I was scared of their rules. I didn't want to disobey. So what changed? I want my daughter back and punishment for whosoever that is involved in this. So I decided to involve the police. You made the right call involving the police. Thank you. In situations like this, they don't want to be called the police because they know how complicated it will get for them. So please, madam, next time, do me a favor, please. I understand. Um, but with the recent happenings and how the kidnap happened, we have every reason to believe that they had an insider, someone very close. What? We're not totally sure. But do you have an idea of anyone who no, 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 no. I don't think anyone that is related to the family can do such. Okay. Anyway, thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome, Detective. Thank you so much. You work for late, Mr. Daniel. Am I right? You're correct. So tell me, are you satisfied with your pay or is it too small? Of course I'm satisfied. I mean, I am handsomely paid. Yes, if you check it out, I, I receive a bigger salary than yours. <laughs> that means I am satisfied. Okay. Now tell me, Mr. Adrian, you were the only one not around at the time of the kidnap. Where exactly were you? Well, I can't say exactly where I was at the point of the kidnap because I don't know the exact time she was kidnapped. All I know is that I finished work and came straight home when I heard the information. Wait, why are you asking me all these questions? Am I a suspect here? No, I'm just asking questions. 
Well, it's okay, because just like you, I, I want to be sure that the people who did this thing are arrested, I mean, apprehended, and made to pay for their crime. Trust me, they will. Hopefully. But tell me, do you have anyone in mind who is capable of doing something like this? Well, I can't say precisely that I have anybody in mind. Uh, all I know is that Mr. Daniel has so many business rivals, right? But I can't actually say, right? But I can't actually say uh, Mr. A or Mr. B, you know, did this. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please help me call the maid. The maid? Yes. You want to talk to her too? It's not important. She's just a maid. Besides, it's not been long since working with us here, yeah, so. Mr. Adrian, thank you for your help. But please help me call him. Do you really want to talk to him? Yes. Okay. I'll call him for you. Just worried. Uh, sorry, I, I will leave now. Thank you. So, what's your name again? I'm sorry, I asked you a question. What is your name? <laughs> <laughs> You're actually doing a good job. That's my job. <laughs> so tell me, how much did he take me? Literally everything. So did he do it? <laughs> of course, it's obvious. Well, you won't be so sure if you went on the inside, do not you? Guess where the dumb guy kept her? Where? Office. The father's private office here in the house. What? This same house? <laughs> yes. He tied her up, blindfolded her, and tipped her out. Well, if you ask me, I think this guy is good. Well, nah. That's the most stupid thing I've seen. Then, stepmother. Does she have anything to do with it? No, 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 no. She loves her genuinely. Okay, so why are you hateful this? Well, it's just a very psychopath lamenting on how the man didn't leave anything for him. He wants to eat his cake and have it. You're actually doing a good job. Because you have to make sure that your identity isn't disclosed. That's my job. Thank you. And the little girl, we need to get her out of that place. Yeah. I'll take the information to the team. And I'll be back by tomorrow, but before then, you have to keep your game up. Ah, oh, no problem. So, okay, back to the house help. Thank you for your maximum cooperation. Thank you so much, Dictative. I hope it was of some help. Yes, thank you. Yes. Don't worry, I'll handle it from here. Okay. If you need my help, you can call me anytime. Thank you for the support anyway. So, what do we do? The investigation is still on. My team and I will make sure we we'll go after those who are responsible for this and bring them to book. But I'll be back tomorrow with more information. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think I'll take my leave. Okay, that's fine. Take care. You're welcome. Have a good day. Um. Uh. 
Uh, it's all right, Margaret. So, Adrian, um, what did he discuss? What did he ask you about? Well, You said I have brains, right? Yes, I said that. I said you have got brains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, don't worry. We are going to win this together. I can see it already. I know, but you really need to be careful. Oh, baby, there's nothing to be worried about. Oh, yes. That is that the police did not even suspect anything. Yes, just because I told him that Mr. Daniel has some business rival, and I'm sure that is what is taking back his team. This policeman can be dumb and stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, you need to go. Let me concentrate on my work, okay? Baby, why sound like this? I'm just excited. How can you be excited when you are still in the middle of an ocean? Because I'm a good swimmer. Oh, yeah. Even at that, you have no life jackets, no flotation device, and no boat. Definitely, you will drown. I think I need to give you a break. Yes. I see you're stressed. message from them. What do you say? That I have just tomorrow to pay the money. What are you going to do? Andre, I think I have to pay the money tomorrow. The police might be, might be slow. And I don't, want, I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Sis, it's okay. I understand this is a very difficult period for you. But trust me, we shall come out victorious. I'm standing by you. your things for a day will leave. I don't understand. What's happening? Oh, she's staying tomorrow. So we leave a day after tomorrow. So why then are you packing now? Because I'm excited. And you should be. Because soon you're going to be with a rich millionaire. What makes you think I want to go with you? Because you love me. Don't you? I love you too. And I want to see your face every night before I go to bed. 
would like to see your ugly face behind bars. God bless. Detective, I hope you have good news for us today. Hopefully before the end of the day. Fine, that's good. Uh, let me call my sister then. Please do. All right, make yourself comfortable. We made a decision as a family. Okay. Yeah, we have decided to grant this uh, kidnapper's request. Um, we don't want anything to happen to me, so we appreciate your efforts so far and we won't take it off from you. This is on your own. Yes. They only gave me today to pay the money. And they also threatened to harm my daughter if I don't. So I have to do it, detective. How did they contact you? Through a text message. OK. Well, I would like to take a look at your husband's office. Okay. What for? You know, yesterday you made mention of this Miss Wright. And I couldn't help but think she checked your office to get her name. Don't you? I'm sorry, detective, but we can't do that. Maybe you have to come back some other time for that. For now, our focus is on how to get my niece back in one piece, safe and sound. Who is this I am. Do I have her permission? No, you don't have her permission. Are you dumb? Don't you hear? Andre, it's okay. It's not, it's, it's not a big deal. You can go and search the office. Take like, him there. It's, like it's a big much. deal. It's a big deal. This guy has to go to the field, search for these kidnappers, get them, apprehend them, arrest them, and bring back your, 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 daughter, your stepdaughter. What's all this going to check cupboard and check room and check power and check all that? But, but it's okay. So there's nothing wrong with that. As I can see, just take him to the office. He look and he comes out, and we continue from there. No problem. Thank you. Smart as your trust. If you ask me, this is not the right time to start searching for rooms. Please, kitchen. will you open the door? You don't seem to understand me. It is my niece that is involved here. I mean, I'm wearing the shoe now, and where it's pinning me. The right thing to do now is to go out there. I mean, search and fish out these criminals that are. I think the criminal is in here. I will ask you one more time. Open the door. Ah. Okay. Must be 
that the ghost is listening. I don't really have time. Where is she? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Of course I don't know what you are talking about. I thought this is a waste of time searching around. But all of a sudden you started seeing me like a criminal. You said you want to come and search documents. Okay, here are documents. Go ahead and search. Search. I don't even know why they brought you. You should have brought somebody who is more intelligent, who is trained. My daughter, what did they do to you? What did they do to you? Where were you kept? Were you able to eat? Did they give you something to eat? You were not eating. No. You think I went here? You're whispering. It was both of you all this way, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. What did you do? What's going on? Mom, yeah? Uncle Andre kidnapped me. What? What kind of joke is that? He blindfolded me, tied me up, and kept me in daddy's office. Wait a minute. Is that what they told you to say? Mary, you're taking the words of a common maid over mine? Did they confuse you to say this? There is something you all need to know. My name is Detective GD, uh -huh. and I work with the DSS. So okay. This is my partner, Detective Margaret. Margaret? Madam. You work with the police? Yes, madam, I do. I work with the Directorate of Secret Service. Jesus, what is... What is going on? I don't understand any of this, please. Can somebody explain to me? Mary, please, talk to me. I don't understand what is going on. Um, madam, um, that's not all. Sir. I don't understand. Daniel! 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 I don't understand any of this. Somebody should talk to me before I lose it. Sweetheart. What, what is going on that I, I, I need to understand here? What? So happy to see you, sir. Somebody should talk to me. I know you all Daniel! All right, I know you're all confused. So let me explain things here. Three months ago, Mr. Daniel sent for me. Are you sure we'll just drive out somewhere for a drink? No, 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 no. I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. So you wanted to discuss something important? Yes. You know, when a man begins to advance in age, okay. there are certain things you need to put in place. I desire to write my will. But the issue I am having is that I have a problem with the people around me. I have an issue trusting them. The only person I can trust here now is my daughter, Mary. So I want to come up with a plan to see if I can also trust my wife and before I put my will in writing. Hmm. I understand. Yes, but I need your help. Okay. That was what happened. And that was why I employed Agent Margaret. Uh, welcome once again. Thank you, sir. My lawyer told me Yes, sir. We received the briefing and have been sent to help you get a job. Um, my name is Detective GD, and this is my partner, Detective Margaret. Okay. Okay, so I'll do it again. Okay, sir. Um, now to bring up the level of trust and erase any form of suspicion, even after your supposed demise, I would suggest we employ Margaret as your maid immediately. 
as our insider. Then we'll take the rest from there. Yes, sir. I said, you know, I said, you said, I'm white, bro. <laughs> no, sir, I said, maid. It's all right. No, it's fine by me. Um, sir, who exactly are we going to be investigating? I didn't bring that. And my wife and uh, my brother in law, I will give you all the information. That's no problem, sir. Okay, sir. All right, then. Um, I will send your transfer to you. Okay. That's what this goes. Okay, sir. Why didn't you tell me there would be a guy? I didn't know. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, what if I knew? What's there? Come on. You of all people should know what might likely happen. And I do not want it. Okay, you're one of the best agents we've got. That's why I told the team to choose you for the job. No, I am not one of the best. I am the best. Let's head out, I want to grab a drink. Whatever, why don't you prove it? This whole thing is, is horribly funny. What's going on? You did this. Adriana, I'm so disappointed in you. After everything I did for you to make your life better, you had a temerity and audacity to kidnap my own daughter? I'm sorry, sir, but I, I don't get what you're saying. Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. You did all this. You did this. All this while. All you have fed me with are lies and deceits. Yeah. I trusted you with the program. And I trusted you with everything. Mrs. Anyang, would you be so kind to dial the phone number that I've been sending you text messages? I believe Mr. Adrian here has forgotten to switch it off. Step aside. Step, step aside. Uh, Mr. Adrian, this place is calling with DSS agents and police officers. Please put down that gun. Shut up. Put down the gun, Adrian. So, you've been deceiving me all this while. You've been lying to me all this while. I just gave you a dose of your own medicine. You should stop this. You can't. Even if you wanted to. How dare you! <laughs> Relax, everyone. I took out the bullet from the gun. So it's practically useless. And so, Mr. Erdrain, you're under arrest. And you have the right to remain silent. I believe you know the rest. Take him out. I'll call for you. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. 